It's two in a row for the L.A. Lakers. Kobe Bryant and company rallied past Boston in Game 7 Thursday, 83-79, to win their second straight NBA championship and the 16th in team history. The Lakers star scored 23 points, even though he struggled from the floor, going just 6-4-24. Bryant was named Finals MVP. L.A. trailed for most of the first three and a half quarters before surging past Boston for the win. I just wanted it so bad. You know, I wanted it so, so bad. And um, but on top of that, man, I was on, I was on E. Man, I was really, really tired. And, you know, the, the, and the more I tried to push, the more it kept getting away from me. Though Bryant had an off-night shooting, he did pull down 15 rebounds. Now he has five NBA titles to the four of former teammate Shaquille O'Neal. He's got one more than Shaq. <laughs> so you can take that to the bank. Ron Artest added 20 points for the Lakers in the title-clinching win. In game three, we won. I had two points. And I always told people it's about the total points. You know, it's about what do we have as a team. If I had two or three rebounds, play 40 minutes, but we won to rebound the game 50 to 40 or something like that, what do we do as a team? Not about what I did, you know. Paul Pierce had 18 points and 10 rebounds for the Celtics, who got 17 points from Kevin Garnett. The veteran team took the loss hard. Well, it's a lot of crying in our locker room. Uh, a lot of people who care. Uh, I don't think it was a dry eye, you know. Um, a lot of hugs. You know, a lot of people feeling awful. Um, that's a good thing. You know, that means everybody cared. Um, I just can't stress enough how, how crazy close this team was. Lakers coach Phil Jackson won his 11th title overall Thursday as L.A. won its fifth title in 11 seasons. This championship moved the Lakers to one behind Boston's 17 titles for the most in NBA history. Steve Carmison, The Associated Press.